In this video, we're going to talk about how you can create your own GPT in ChatGPT to learn about you and then use all the power of ChatGPT and your own unique voice and what you feed it to better communicate on behalf of you and be a better tool for you specifically. Hey there, if we haven't met yet, I'm Neil Smith, your social media guide. And I talk about social media technology and things that can help you further your mission using technology, using social media, using software. And we're going to talk about chat GPT and how you can create your very own GPT. And so what that means is you could basically, it's a large language model that basically uses text that you input to then use all the knowledge that it has to then output the text response that, that best sounds like you. And, and so the more data that you can feed it, the more information you can feed it to know about you that might not be public on the internet, that it doesn't already know about you, the better it can represent you. And so ChatGPT is a powerful tool. It is the fastest growing technology in the history of technology adoption to date. And this is one of the most powerful uses of ChatGPT. So you can build your own GPT that can learn about you. So let's go to the screen and let's talk about how you can build your own GPT for ChatGPT. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we're going to go into ChatGPT and you can see here my, my GPT-4 screen. And so you got to pay the $20 a month or, or whatever the subscription rate is, it's going to probably keep going up. I would guess as it's uh, gone up since it, it started to use GPT-4 to be able to create your own GPTs. And so I think it's well worth the $20 a month because it gives more updated information in all of ChatGPT. Plus you can feed it your own information. So you want to go into ChatGPT and, and then have that GPT-4 account and then go to explore GPTs. And then when you go to explore, you want to click on create. So when you create, it's going to walk you through how to create it. And so I'm going to create a GPT that will represent me. And so I'm going to go to build a GPT for Nils Smith. And so you can put in the name of your company. You can put in the name of your ministry, your church, your nonprofit, wh whatever organization that it is you lead, it could be a GPT for that. And, and you can feed it information about that, that it might not already have to make sure that it has the effective information that it needs. So now you can see it's starting to build it and it's going to walk me through some questions. So we're naming this Neil Smith advisor. Now it's doing this because I already have one that I created for myself. Uh, does that sound good? Yes. And now it's going to keep building it and it's going to keep asking me questions. So the next thing it's going to do is generate a picture. And so it's using Dolly D A L L E to create an image to use as like a profile image for this GPT. And one of the great things about GPT four is you can actually create graphics with it. You can tell it, give it a prompt so that it can create graphics for your chat GPT. So here's the initial profile. Do you like it? Looks good. Now that doesn't look like me. I wish I had that much hair, but I'll accept it because I don't think it's that important uh, what the profile image looks like. So what kind of advice should it emphasize? So let's say social media. So now it's going to build a custom GPT to help give better social media advice for me or better represent me. And so it is updating the GPT to, it's going to keep learning about me. And uh, so now it says, how do you want to interact with users? Should it be formal or casual in responses? So let's say casual. And you can see here on the right hand side, it's already added some pre-created prompts of how do I grow my on online audience? What's the latest in digital marketing? Can you review my social media tips for engaging online community? Feel free to try it out. So the next thing I want to do is I want to give it information about me. And so what I'm going to do in order to do that is I'm going to go to one of my YouTube videos and pull the transcript. So let me show you how to do that. Okay. So I'm here in YouTube. So I'm going to go to my channel to view your channel. And I'm going to go to my latest videos and I am going to go down here in the description. One of the things that you'll find is you can get the transcript. So I'm going to say show transcript. 
So on the right hand side here, you can see the transcript from this video. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy uh, the transcript. Now I'm going to change it to toggle transcripts. And so I can just go in here and copy all of this text for the transcript. So this is my voice. This is my style. Now I went too far. So I'm going to actually do it backwards and see if I can get it this way. Okay. So I've got my transcript highlighted. So I'm going to copy that. And now I am back in chat GBT. So I'm going to just take that document. So use this transcript from a YouTube video to better learn Neil Smith's voice. I'm just going to paste that there and I'm scroll down. You can see that whole transcript there and I'm going to hit send message. And so as I do that, it is letting me know that it has that. Now I did that before and I didn't record it right. So that's why it's showing we already have that information. But the reality is, is you can take any video, any transcript and is and what you want to do is give this GPT as much information about you so that it can better understand how to respond and to sound like your voice. And so now uh, I can ask this GPT anything and I can go in here to configure the GPT. I can actually change the name and the description, the instructions. It's taking the information it has and auto generating these things and I can change it to anything. If I want to share it, you can actually even go here to the knowledge and upload files. So if you have Word docs of, of sermon notes or text notes or product information, you can add all of that here to the knowledge base and it gives it more and more information uh, that you can use. And, and so you create it right here and then you configure it here with basically kind of like the profile information if you think of it almost like a, a social media platform and then even in this on the create section going back here or the configure section going back here you can change uh all of these questions that are here so i could add an additional question like uh help me understand a specific social network and now it has that prompt. I'm going to take out that one and you can see it's right here. So I can already open up a prompt uh, for it to use and respond best it can as me. And so this is simply that chat GPT is done or that GP, that custom GPT is done. And I can then publish this so where only I can use it. And, and this is one of the advantages is you might want to create a GPT where you don't want other people to have access to all of that data that, that you have built within your GPT. So you want, might want to make it for only me or anyone with a link can use it or everyone publicly can use it. So I want my data and information to be private. So I'm going to say just me. Uh, so that is saved. And so now I'm back in the regular chat GPT area and you can see all of my GPTs on the left hand side. And so you can see Neil Smith advisor is that new GPT I created. And now I can click this button here. So can you review my social media strategy? So it's asking me for some key questions uh, of things that it would be interested to know so that I can, you know, give it the direction that it needs to then build a social media strategy for me. And just like that, I have built a GPT for myself. And, and so, GPTs are an incredibly powerful tool and the longer we have them and the more we build them, the more effective they're going to become. And I think the other power is as we learn how to better prompt, we're going to be able to use chat GPT and all of these large language models better to help us and become more efficient. The things we're doing, and these can write emails for us. These can create social media posts for us. These can do all kinds of things or just even ideate with us and help us create, come up with creative ideas or name ideas. I think the possibilities are limitless and I think we're finding new ways and new opportunities to use this powerful technology in a unique way. But I think one of the things that's most important to be able to use it most effectively is to have our own GPT, to have it better know us. So it's not creating the same thing with the same structure as it, that it's creating for everyone with regular chat GPT, but now it's our own GPT that we can use to better represent us. And so if you create this for any brand that you have, I believe needs to have its own GPT. And so I hope you will use this system that's so easy uh, in GPT-4 to then 
begin to create your own GPTs for any and all brands that you manage. And I would say for each person, and maybe even in your organization can have their own GPT. Uh, and that can be their personal assistant that it better knows them and can help and support them. And so that's it. It's really that simple to create your own GPT and build that out and build that knowledge base out so that it has more information so it can better support and serve you. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you would leave any comments or questions uh, in, in the comments below, I'd love to answer those and help you better utilize uh, AI in these approaching tools for your social media strategy, for your digital marketing strategy. This is a unique day. This is a moment in history where this is the worst this technology is ever going to be. And, and what's going to happen is chat GPT is going to get smarter. It's going to get better. And your GPT, you can keep building over time and you can help it become smarter and better simultaneously. Uh, and so this is a great opportunity to begin building out your GPT now so that as the platform gets better, as the technology gets better, uh, you're that much better prepared for the future of AI and technology to accomplish your organizational goals. I can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comments and engage with you there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you on the next episode.